I want to give a big shout out to our patrons. You guys are really helping us keep the lights on during these rather difficult times which have affected our business greatly. So thank you and if you'd like to become part of this group and lend your support, there is a link in the description below. if you want to get away from the people around you yet you still kind of have to share a workspace. Well, one thing you can do is build a room within that space to block everyone else out. At least that's what Matt did. He kind of took the big shop and then he built a room within the big shop to gain some privacy and yeah, it actually turned out rather cool. So I thought I would share the space with you guys and the process a little bit and the reasons for doing it other than just being, you know, a little crazy. Hey, you are waking up already? Garage, you could say it has a lot of tools in it. I wanted to show you that space right there. So I totally could show you what that looks like right now, but I figured let's go back to where this first started, and that was a couple months back in January. Feels like a different world from right now, doesn't it? Whoa. Better now. Yeah. So I think Matt's getting a little bit jealous of my small beautiful shop in there. So he had this idea <laughs> that he wants to basically make a small shop inside the big shop by enclosing a corner area in here um, and make it its own private room. So the starting point here is a beautiful shop uh, with a wooden floor that we spent a lot of time last year putting in as well as some really great machines, new woodworking tools. I made a shop tour video a while back when it was really clean <laughs> and really nice looking, really highlighting everything that was done up to that point. And you can just see what a gorgeous space it was. Um, the one thing about a space like that though is while a big open space is great, it certainly has a couple of limitations. This is what it looks like right now. Of course, before you do anything, it's always a big mess. So here, taking down the, uh, the power tool wall. And the basic idea here is that it's going to be about 13 by 13 and go in this corner right here. And then there's going to be a door and windows and make it kind of airy. I think this is actually a really cool idea because when you have a big space like this, a big garage, it's, you don't have a whole lot of wall space, you don't have a lot of storage space, and everything is just kind of all over the place. And by defining the space, you get more wall space and you can really kind of utilize the space more efficiently, which I think is a neat idea. Plus, I like the idea of having separate workspaces as well that are our own and more private. Of course, I'm probably gonna use this as well. Um, but we just got a delivery outside for materials to get started on this project. And this is his thing, so he's probably going to do most of it. Um, but yeah, let's go and take a look. Okay, so we have 16 foot 2 by 4s um, a header, and here we have insulation. We're going to add some more insulation on the outer walls, uh, drywall, and a couple of other things. So really wanted to make this space efficient and comfortable, so I thought it's never a bad idea to add more insulation. Plus, on the exterior walls, it had this kind of lip coming up. So it really worked out to put a two inch rigid foam insulation right above the lip. Because then it created this flat surface that was easy to just put the drywall right up against. And using drywall because it is just cheaper than plywood and not really a fan of OSB. Now it kind of made sense to place this room in the back of the shop because first of all there's a lot of woodworking tools and there's a brand new tool which I haven't even talked to you guys about and that is a giant avid CNC machine that's all in the front. Now this machine is a whole other beast in itself and I'm gonna make videos about that coming up. So avid CNC machine out in the front 
and then uh, all the traditional woodworking tools so you know table saw and band saw and, and lathe and all that and all that is you know you want access to the dust collection if you place all those things kind of in the front you can reach the dust collection easier and in this room there would be no dust collection needed you know you can use a shop vac if you need it for something but mostly this is going to be a clean space maybe with a little bit of hand tools but probably not even that more like assembly photography computer work and electronic stuff so that's kind of the idea. Next up it was time to create the framing for the room and you can see on the one side there's a big opening for a large window overlooking the shop and on the other side uh, the other wall has a framing for a door. Now we also thought it might be a good idea to add this wall just to provide some additional support for the upstairs room. I really want to store a bunch of lumber and heavy things up there so having some additional load-bearing walls like couldn't be a bad idea. And the wall that has the, uh, the door framed in, that is secured to a lot of rafters. And the other wall, a couple as well. Also, a lot of electrical boxes. Because uh, one thing about workspaces is you can never have too many outlets. No matter how many you put in, you're gonna use them all up. So you might as well put quite a few in. So next, put drywall on both sides of the interior walls. Now the windows here will be Lexan which makes a lot more sense in the shop where you're, you know, cutting wood on the table saw and you don't want to accidentally shatter a glass window inside. Now just put on the Lexan outside, planning on making nice windows eventually, but for now I just wanted to put some protection up to block it from the dust. And the trim around the window is the same trim that I have used in this shop and that we used in a lot of different projects and that's hardwood flooring, oak flooring that's being used as the trim. Now the whole room is quite sealed, also added some of the moisture barrier from the flooring. It's carried up through the foundation wall um, to make sure that it's, it's all <laughs> protected. There is a lot of little bugs and things here in Virginia and so you want to keep your spaces nice and sealed. Lynn's new office. Make it nice and cozy. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time you've... Uh... Had such a small office. So we have the uh, actual room in here now and a door right here. Now this door was actually uh, upstairs separating the, uh, like closing off the, uh, the uh, loft area. But now since we have um, climate control both upstairs and downstairs, we don't really need a separation. So brought that down here, this door, and it's kind of nice. So that works really well. Uh, still working on finishing up. This is kind of a nifty little idea here. Going to do these shelves, uh, have a backing here with, and then have lights on the inside of the shelves. So we wired this in place already. So it's on like over the door to the other side here. And got an electronic lock on the door, which may or may not have been overkill, according to some people. You can see the inside of the windows right here. There's that hole up there. Oh, this hole right here is where we're going to build like a fan section with computer fans to do an air exchange. Especially because the mini split is out there. So, you know, in the summer to provide cool air and in the winter to provide some warmth so that the air will circulate a bit, especially when you shut all the doors or shut that door and want to keep it closed. So I brought six large computer fans that I'm going to make into one unit. Now to one of my favorite features of this room, and that's the lighting setup. So I have this soft box here, quite large, mounted to the ceiling. So the idea is to put a workbench over here and then have this cool downward lighting. Basically used a wall pin and attached two pieces of wood in the ceiling. We also got this rolling stand um, with a boom and different arms for different holders. And that has also been really great to just kind of move around as you're filming different things and you don't have to have a ton of like it already has. You can put a light on it and a camera and a mic and everything. So it's very efficient and I really like that setup. This was one big space. We can fit everything and still create a, a small room inside. And that's what this is. Ah. Okay. Okay. Dad. 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 
So a couple of my favorite parts about this space here now is I really like how it feels like such a different room from the rest of the shop, like the darker color, the different things that are in it. It feels like it's not part of the other space, which I think is really cool. And the fact that there's no window in it also means that you can control the lighting much better um, for different things. Okay, so this thing right here, it's not completely finished yet. Bye. Oh, bye bye! Change the color. Of course, we got a lot more wall space that we haven't even used completely on both sides. You know, that's what's so great when you put up a wall. You get wall space on the interior, but also the other side of the wall. So we got four new walls <laughs> with wall space on it for storage, which is really great. Having a dust-free environment in a shop, I think is just really nice, especially if you're doing computer work, you're working on like CNC work, you're designing, um, and also if you're doing electronics. We tried having the electronic station in the, uh, the big shop Shop, like early on and it was just not a good idea because sawdust and electronics don't really work together. Plans right now is to have this more of a dedicated assembly filming space. The electronic stuff is going to go in there so it can be a very dust-free environment. So there's a bench right in there but the idea is to not do too much actual woodworking in there but that's gonna be done right here. This is gonna be the new kind of hand tool workspace. There's more finely photography, that kind of thing, and a computer, like a desk to control the CNC machine, which is right there. And currently it's a bit of a mess, but this is an avid CNC machine. It is a very large one. It's one of their largest or the largest. Working on some dust collection. That's kind of what we're in the halting phase right now before we get that sorted out. Um, but really excited about getting this one up and running and a lot of different projects kind of in the works mentally for that. Another thing I'm going to be working on making a video about soon is this planer. This is the Grizzly planer. I've had it for about a year now and it is by far one of my favorite tools ever. I love this thing. It is great. That's a moisture meter. I know. Now you may wonder, is this a good idea? Would you do this in your space? And obviously doing something like this requires a very large space to begin with. You know, it's very popular these days to have these open floor plans inside houses. And personally, I really don't want to hear someone's TV show when I'm doing the cooking or vice versa. I think that if you have a private space that you can close the door um, where you're not seeing everybody all the time. It's really nice. I think privacy is a little bit underrated. Not to mention when you have more spaces, I just think like it's more efficient in some ways because you can just fit more things in a different way, make things cozier. So I think it really works. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you're doing well in these times. Um, I just wanted to kind of check in, say hi guys. Um, I've been having a really tough time getting any work done lately. Um, August has been a bit of a challenge. I don't know, people sometimes say that kids get easier as they get older, but I have found the opposite to be true in many ways, especially when naps go out the window and it's been a little bit difficult. But anyway, I'm thinking from now on he might just be in the videos more because I just can't do things without him as much, so that's just gonna be the way it is. But I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know uh, if you have any thoughts, any questions in the comments below. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I... I brought this guitar. Oh, you want to go? I know what you want. You want to go sit over there? Broom, broom on the thing while mommy plays the guitar? I recently brought this guitar out from hiding. It was so out of tune that I was wondering if it would ever be able to get back in tune. Uh, but I found an app online. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do it. And I now have a guitar and it's been really fun.